Now, to be fair, I have no idea what the show's all about, other than a bunch of bearded dudes with camouflage. I see them all around, from like t-shirts to birthday cards, so honestly, they're popular enough to get a video game in my room, folks. But hey, you know, let's just go ahead and pop open this $40 game that I paid no pennies for to own it, and see what it's all about. The game starts out pretty promising though, I mean, Activision published this game and you know how they went. Spider-Man the movie on the GameCube was the best game ever played by Activision, so I have high hopes for this game. Gotta be honest though, I'm not liking the whole audacity for them wanting me to use a GameCube controller for this game. Nah, nah, I'm not gonna use this, I got this, so <laughs> don't, don't try to tell me that, folks. Oh yeah, now that's the target audience right there, folks. A whole bunch of grandpas who bought this thing, thinking it was some sort of DVD in this bargain bin, until they realized that the DVD wasn't playing it, and then they realized, oh, it's a video game. Well, my son got one of those Super Sega Genesis, so they're probably like this, and then the son will be like, why, grandpa? Why you gotta hate your son? Also, fathom on those, uh, you know, graphical options. I mean, my computer may not be the greatest, uh, gaming computer, and I don't know a whole lot about this game's specs, but this game runs at a good old smooth 25 FPS at the lowest setting, so you know you're in a great treat. But hey, let's stop drabbling the ducklings, and let's just go ahead and start off the game as four bearded dudes just look in you in slight disappointment thinking, you really bought this game, didn't you? Man, oh man. When you got it, you got it. And let me tell you, I definitely got it. Now here's where the game shows its true colors with this long ass cutscene that I might as well be watching the show because I am boring the fuck out. I mean, that enter skip button right there seems very promising, but I gotta learn the lore about Duck Dynasty. You ever wonder what perfection sounds like? It sounds a lot like this. It's like poetry for the ears, isn't it? This cutscene goes on for way too long, so I'll give you the lowdown on the story of Duck Dynasty. This kid right here, you're playing as this guy, John Locke, and he wants to become one with the Duck Dynasty, which is crazy. He's either really crazy and there's no job opportunities for him to have around this area, or two, these guys had an uninspecting white van that's a candy inside and basically stole this kid off of the park. And I'm pretty sure that's actually more realistic than wanting to become one with the dynasty of ducks and warriors and whatever. Also, just in case you're missing out on the riveting dialogue of Duck Dynasty, uh, here's what you've been missing out. Stop, stop picking your nose with that. You're gonna hurt yourself again. Hey, when you got a booger way up there, you need to dislodge it somehow, or it'll dam up your nostril like a beaver dam. And hey, eventually, you'll never breathe again. So let's finally dive into the actual gameplay. You like rhythm games? She has a rhythm game. As you would probably guess it, this is the duck calling part, which to me is the duck part. I don't know where the dynasty part comes from, honestly. I mean, it's all pretty peaceful and all, you know, just calling ducks. I, I guess that's what it's all about. I mean, what if, what, what are you gonna do, Jace? What are you wait, ready for, for when it comes down to these ducks? I mean, I've been. Whoa, Jace! Jace, what is that? What? Oh, God! Oh, God! Uh, oh, no! I didn't know this would actually be hunting! I thought we were all gonna, just gonna call ducks, not murder them! Why would you want to murder ducks? They're kinda cute! So, so, after murdering cute duckies, um, the next thing you do is that you. Ride around in a truck and choose a radio station, so... I, I, I don't like this kind of music. Uh, let me change it here. Oh, yeah. So after that sick bass drop, basically take you around to shoot bottles, which, by the way, auto-aim is on, and I don't know if you can turn it off, but I'm glad it's on because this is pretty unplayable. Even with auto-aim on, I really just can't seem to aim these bottles. So let alone even trying to aim these bottles directly, 
they seem quite impossible in like 20 FPS. Now at this point, these rednecks kind of think, well, how is something 10 year old is old enough to drive, so let him drive our big ol' camouflage ugly looking truck. And be free, John Locke! You're free from the flock! Escape from the words of whatever the fuck- Oh! Struck out! This is where they take you to the meat and potatoes of the game, and you basically call the ducks, and then you shoot the ducks. Hmm... Now that sounds like a very familiar game, if I could think of it right now. It call. would be... Of course I should have known that it was Jackie Chan's action kung fu on the NES. Such a classic the game will be for many years to come. I mean, okay, you gotta be honest here. There's these times in the game where it just shows, like, live footage, and then it kind of cuts to, you know, this. That it's really uncanny, and just... I, 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 I don't really get the reason why. You're showing me like a bunch of dudes and then this guy shot something he's like, Yeah, I shot the thing. It comes to this. It's just... No, you can't, you can't do that. Nobody does that anymore. That's just kind of... That's just kind of unsettling, really. Also, is it just me or does it feel like that guy Ferrari has some... work into this? I kind of have that feeling. Although from here it's not all from shooting ducks or beavers or squirrels, you sometimes even have to go fishing and like, quite honestly, I got no no this straight off, to be honest, this is actually the most fun I've had. Like you think that shooting stuff would actually be fun, but yeah, hold, holding the mouse the the mouse button and just like steering your mouse to you know Fixing with what the fish do that that's kind of fun. Not gonna lie, that that was a bit fun. If it was a stable game, maybe I'd play that, and I'll probably just not play it for months. But that's some little little effort. I I, I gotta say. You also kind of get a metal detector to share some treasures, and then you get Vietnam dong the, the, the dongs. Well, I don't know who just leaves Vietnam penises in a jar in the woods, but hey, I got a reward for that, and I got Duck Dynasty engraved rooms. You also collect frogs in the game, and uh, the the frogs are collectibles for some reason. You get like shark decals on your boat. That that's that uh, uh, that happens, I guess. But at this point, I'm kind of like thinking this game's starting to get weird, and I mean like really weird. It's starting to talk through walkie-talkies like in Metal Gear, and you know, I think at this point, I think I've seen quite enough. There's really no other reason why for me to experience the game. I quite experienced the Duck and the Dynasty, and I've still questioned why they still made a video game about this. Plus, uh, I'm not liking where this image is going, so... All in all, the old question kind of stands, but I think I'm gonna give a good old rating about this game. I'm gonna have to give this game two ZZ Top albums out of a ten. It's, uh... Like, what, you were really expecting some sort of series review? Get out of here! Don't touch that. Willie, you just got served. <laughs>